Sarah, and welcome to today's lesson. After Jesus rose, but before he ascended to be with God, he gave all of his disciples a very important job, to teach others about God in Jesus' name. This is called evangelism. Have you ever heard of evangelism before? Who do you know who evangelizes? Anytime we tell another person about God or Jesus, we are call following Jesus' call to evangelism. Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for trusting us to share your love. Please show us the people in our lives whom we can love in your name. Amen. Now we're going to watch a video. In today's video, we'll see how Monty, Otto, and Victor interpret the job Jesus gave to his followers and how Jax and Ada help them to reconsider their methods. game, but I've always wanted to play jacks with jacks. Well, that was quick. I get a lot of practice. Oh, oh come on! Seriously, who threw that? This town is so weird. Is that water coming from... A church! Let's go! Where do you suppose we start? <laughs> Monty! Were you the one hitting people with water balloons? Nopers! Goodbye! Well, obviously we need to follow him. Or we just follow that. Okay, I see someone. Other side of the street, about two blocks down. Got it. And... Wait! Father, Son, and Holy Spirit! Father, Son, and Holy Spirit! Ah, what in the world? Good job, team. We just reached another pedestrian. What are you three doing? Monty, you said you weren't hitting people with water balloons. For shame, Monty, for shame. I'm not! I'm baptizing people with water balloons. Yeah, Ada, relax. It's what Jesus would want. You think Jesus would want a giant water hose mounted to the roof of our church? Absolutely. Jesus said that we were to go out and baptize all nations. So that's what we're doing. We should have the whole town done by this time tomorrow. This seems wrong for so many, many reasons. The numbers don't lie, Ada. We've already reached 15 people today. Wow! 15 new people have joined our church? Well, technically, no. Did you tell them anything about God or Jesus? You know, like Jesus asked us to do? We're way up on the roof, Jax. Be reasonable. Pastor Pete said that Jesus wanted us to invite people to follow God. Being drenched with water isn't very inviting. So what are we supposed to do? Go out and just talk to people? Invite them to come check out our church? Tell them how Jesus is a big part of our lives and I just answered my own question, didn't I? Yes, you did. Well, Jax and I will be downstairs playing Jax. Uh, to be fair, I kind of suspected this wasn't right, but I really just wanted to build a giant water cannon. Now pause and answer these questions. Jesus had died, then risen, and was meeting with his disciples. They were probably pretty excited to be together. Their friend and savior, Jesus, was there to give them a job. While I'm reading, listen for the words travel, heal, 
teach, and baptize. When you hear travel, touch your feet. When you hear heal, touch your heart. When you hear teach, touch your forehead. And when you hear baptize, touch the top of your head. So travel, touch your feet, heal, touch your heart, teach, touch your forehead, and baptize, touch the top of your head. The Great Commission from Matthew chapter 28. Eleven disciples waited excitedly to meet the risen Jesus. They peered down from a mountaintop in Galilee. Why did Jesus ask us here? Philip wondered. Maybe, guessed Peter, he's going to teach and heal again. I hope we can still follow him, said John. Just then, Jesus arrived. The disciples dropped to their knees. Jesus is alive, they prayed. Thank you, God. Peter lifted up his head. Jesus, are you going to teach and heal again, he asked. Jesus shook his head. It's your turn now. I taught you about God's love. I healed God's people. Now you must, you must teach and heal in my name. But we can't heal people like you do, Peter protested. We can't teach about God the way you do. Yes, you can, Jesus assured them. You have been given the authority to teach and heal God's people. We can heal people? James asked, amazed. Jesus smiled at his disciples. You will be my apostles. Go in my name. Travel all over the world. Teach and heal people. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The eleven looked at each other. Could they really do those things? You won't be alone, Jesus added. Remember, I'm always with you now and forever. Pause and answer these questions with your family. Time for some activities. Today we are going to pray for the world. I thought we could pray for some far off places using a newspaper. A famous Bible teacher and preacher once said we preach with the Bible in one hand and the newspaper in another because we care about the world and what's happening in it. You probably overhear the radio sometimes when your parents are listening to the news or watching it on TV. You probably have heard of some of the far off places around the world that have different things happening. Did you know when you hear about a country, you could stop and say a prayer? You might have been doing that now as we've uh, been praying for an end to COVID and treatments and vaccines for the, over a year. And we can still pray for uh, people affected by COVID, especially in India. But I also grabbed a couple of newspapers and thought that I would just show you how there are things happening all over the world. Today, this newspaper has a story about uh, a high school in Afghanistan. There's another article about England and Wales. There's something about Russia and Israel and Germany. Lots of things about the United States all kinds of, uh, of articles that are included. And this one's about families at the border of the United States and Mexico. There are lots of things to pray about. Let us pray. Oh God, we come to you today knowing that the world is a big place. That there are places that we've never heard of and lots of them that we hear about in the news all the time for places that are struggling with war and conflict, we pray for peace. For places that are dealing with hunger or, or drought, we pray for an end to starvation and for people to help those who are in need. 
or places that are dealing with governments that don't always care for their people, we pray for good leadership. For all of the countries and places that I named before that were in these newspapers, uh, I pray for your guidance in those situations, especially as we come together as a world that you would uh, help us to get through this uh, pandemic crisis. Thank you for the vaccines that have been developed and we pray for continued health around the world that, as we face this together. We entrust the world to your care and keeping, O oh God, and ask your blessing upon it. In Jesus' name, amen. The second activity is to write a card to someone you haven't seen in a while. It's a great way to connect with someone and let them know they are loved by you and God. Here's a card I wrote to my friend Roger in Minnesota. It says, thinking of you on the front, and I wrote him a note about how I was sorry I missed his birthday uh, card shower uh, and that we've been really busy moving and doing some things with my mother-in-law and father-in-law, but I hope to be able to see him this summer. I haven't uh, heard from him in a long time, but he's in his 90s, and I know he'll appreciate hearing from me. Let's close with a blessing. God blesses all of us. That means me, and that means you. Go now and bless the world.